Hello and welcome all newcomers to the world of Minecraft. My name is AJ and this is Minecraft for Dummies. This episode we're going to cover everything we can cover to do with food. So let's get started then. Over here we've got a villager found in villages randomly around Minecraft. Uh, sometimes you can trade and get food in return. Over here we've got spiders. Now, they drop poisonous spider eyes. Not very good. You're not guaranteed to always get any. Same thing with the cave spider. That We just got string from that. Now over here, zombies drop rotten flesh. Now it's not just zombies, because you can get zombie villagers. They also drop rotten flesh. Over here we've got a zombie pigman. They give rotten flesh as well. There we go, finally. We've got pigs. Naturally they drop pork chop. We've got chickens. They drop chicken. We've got cows. They drop raw beef. Now over here, we've got the mushroom. Here we can milk it and get mushroom stew. We can also shear it. Go away. And get mushrooms. Pretty handy. And you can fish for... well, fish. You can go fishing. The water has to be too deep in order to be able to catch a fish. You'll get raw fish and raw salmon. Salmon? Salmon? I'm not sure how you say that. You get puffer fish and clownfish also, but currently they're not edible. Maybe in future they will be. And over here, there is a 0.5% chance that makes it out to be 1 in 200 chance that if you break a leaf block, you're going to get an apple. They only drop from oak tree and dark oak trees. Go away. Now, over here, we've got... Oh, of course, I'm in game mode, aren't I? I can't come out of game mode, because, actually, I can set it to peaceful now. Go away, demons. Okay, game mode zero. Here, you get potatoes. You plant them, and you get potatoes back. Over here, we've got some lovely carrots. And, of course, we've got melons. Chance to get different amounts of melons from that. And wheat, which of course you can use to make bread. I'll just plunk them up there. Now, you can make a cake. You can milk a cow to get milk using a simple empty bucket. I was going to do it, but I kind of forgot. Silly me. And you can get sugar from sugar cane. As you can see up there, you'll get one sugar cane into one sugar. They're found randomly through Minecraft. You get an egg randomly dropped by a chicken. And you get three wheat. And in that exact recipe like that, in a crafting table, we'll make one cake. Over here, we've got two wheat and one cocoa bean. Or cocoa bean, as some may call it. To make eight cookies. They can be found on jungle trees. So keep an eye for a jungle biome if you want to see that. Over here we've got a golden apple. You can find them randomly in chests around the world in dungeons and stuff. But you can also make it if you get an apple. And if you put golden ingots around it, you'll get two hearts restored. Just like if you ate any other food, it restores a certain amount of hearts. You get restoration 2 for 5 seconds and absorption 2. No, absorption for 2 minutes, sorry. You can also get an enchanted golden apple. That gives you regeneration 5 for 30 seconds, absorption for 2 minutes, and resistance and fire resistance for 5 minutes. That's created using golden blocks though, which, as you can see up there, it takes 9 pieces of gold to make one golden block. So, <laughs> yeah. Over here we've got mushroom stew. Instead of just milking a mushroom cow, you can also make it using the two different types of mushrooms that you can find in dark locations, and in the nether, and stuff like that. You can make a pumpkin stew. Pumpkins are growable just exactly the same as watermelons. Plunk it down, make sure there's a space for it to grow, and it will grow. 
And then you've got one sugar, as shown up there, you get sugar with sugar cane and an egg to make pumpkin pie. We've got golden carrot. That only a golden carrot restores three hearts, whereas a normal carrot restores two, so it's not really that worth it, in my opinion. But a golden carrot's primary use is for potions. And over here you've got bread by making three wheat in a row. Now, going on to making cooked pork chop. You can eat all of these things raw. However, there's a chance that you'll get, I'm pretty sure it's poison, or you'll just get, like, your hunger bar will go all, like, like just as if you were sick. It won't restore that fast, and you'd probably lose it faster than you'd gain it, and it's not that worth it. So, you basically, you want to cook anything that's raw. Same thing goes for rotten flesh. You can't cook it, though. It's bad for you, but if, if you're trapped somewhere, and that's your only option, it's good to have. So, you can cook up raw pork chop to make cooked pork chop. Uh, two sticks to cook one. One coal to cook eight, and so forth. Raw fish into cooked fish. Raw salmon into cooked salmon, potato into baked potato, raw beef into steak, and raw chicken into cooked chicken. And that, my friends, covers everything to do with food in Minecraft. I hope this helps you get started. Um, if there's something that you particularly struggle in at Minecraft and you probably think would do good for an episode to help not just you but other people who may also be struggling, uh, feel free to just suggest it in the comments. Um, I plan on doing things like uh, redstone for dummies and um, animals for dummies, um, all that kind of stuff. So just feel free to suggest it and I'll let you know if I'm going to do it. Thanks for watching. Remember to give a like if you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any kind of way. Just to let me know that I should keep on doing it to help you even more and other members of the Minecraft community. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out.